hey what's up so today I am in Nusa Dua Bali Indonesia and I've been meeting so much amazing people I've met some people that they're like so big-hearted and so kind and lovely that they invited me to stay for the few days uh, for the final days that are gonna stay here in Bali to come and visit their villa so I'm gonna take you on a tour in this lovely villa here in Nusa Dua <laughs> hey So, can you tell me more about this villa? What do you thought about this villa so far? You've been staying more than a month or so? Yeah, a month now. Well, I have a lot of favorite spots, to be fair. The courtyard over there uh, is just heaven to stay in, to have breakfast in, to work in as well. I've done a bit of everything there. I like the spaciousness of it. It's very luxurious feeling, and that's exactly what I wanted when I came to Bali. I live in a really nice apartment back at home, but I did want like the spaciousness uh, you know, and that feeling of wealth kind of surround you and I feel like this place has it all. We've been living here three people. There's three really, really beautiful rooms. Everywhere is super bright. I can't wait for you to see it, to be fair. It's well, really well show me your favorite spot then. Let's go. Your favorite spot? Yeah, let's go. Let's go see the courtyard. Okay, so here, honestly, the colors for me is what makes this work so well. I was just shooting here actually, so we kind of messed it up a bit, <laughs> but uh, this is the place. So you like working, chilling? Absolutely. Your legs up, get your little laps up and get going. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is if someone is using the pool upstairs, get ready to get a shower. Oh, there's, there's a pool, pool upstairs right then? Here. Yeah, there's the a pool right here and the water drops off. I mean, this why this, these plants are so, so green. The water drops up here and if you're sitting here, get ready to be, yeah, yeah, get ready for a shower. You can see that this place is so gorgeous, like it has so much space and she's gonna take us in more parts of the villa right now so that we can be amazed by it. So this is the living room, I think you already got a little uh, sneak peek before. There is a TV, we barely ever, it's not really the thing to do in Bali, is it? It's here for socializing, <laughs> it's here for working. Here for chilling, I work from here as well. Um, I feel like this place is super, super, super creative. This is my yoga spot, actually. <laughs> normally, I like to set up my yoga mat right here. Mm -hmm. This is normally clear, you can see all my luggage in the way. And yeah, this is where you can work undisturbed. Bali is beautiful. Uh, the idea of working outside and doing your yoga and your workouts outside is also very beautiful. But it's so hot, actually, you need an AC. The being inside is what makes it work. Okay, so that actually explains why you have one, two AC <laughs> right here in the entrance. And they're always running. Oh it's God. open upstairs, so it has it has to be running all the time. The doors aren't even, that's the one I think flaw of this villa. The doors are not uh, double glazed, so it's not very well insulated. Yeah, I think we have enough of the living room. I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of the room that I'm staying in, in this lovely place. So, join me. <laughs> all right, so here you go. Look at the amount of space and room here. Why the hell do we need two beds? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> but it's just compliment, I just like making it. And of course, your AC, you need an AC. Otherwise, you're gonna be boiling in the room. And here you can also have the view from the external area. Like, just open it up and still have a view from outside. The pool is up there, as I mentioned. We're just gonna show you in a bit. And continuing a little bit more, you have the bathroom. So the bathroom is also pretty spacious. Uh, you have this little bathtub here. You have the shower thingy right here. And yeah, it's, this one is a bit more open. And as you can hear, the water is falling over there. Um, but this has a lot of natural light. And with this amount of natural light, makes it really nice to like, you know, come. After a long day of work, you just like chill for a bit, just maybe take the stub, take a shower, or probably go up in the other parts of the, of the villa. So we already saw the first room, let's continue exploring this lovely villa. Oh, what is this here? Yeah, so here we have a little open kitchen. I'll show you very, very quickly. Uh, we don't really use the kitchen much, we cook occasionally, but as you can see it's a bit small. 
for daily use. We don't even have ovens in Bali, that's not a thing. Uh, but you can see here, <laughs> it's a nice little detail. Uh, again, when the rain comes in, it's really, really beautiful here. Here we have a small bathroom for the guests. Very, very sweet, nothing too fancy. Yeah. So let's go on the second floor, explore this a bit more. Oh, this is the fun part. All right, so let's continue giving the tour. Uh, this definitely is one of my favorite parts here in this villa because not only it's like very connected to the nature, if you look right over there, you can see a lot of green and the pool is everything you need to calm down the very, very hot day. Well, at this part here, it's like very spacious. You can sit here, probably bring some friends, have some drinks. So here in Nusa Dua specifically, there's not much of a party place as per se. You do have some one and two places around, but it's not as active and crazy hectic as in Changu, for example, or in the Luat. So this place here is just like a place that I like. Just chill a bit, reflect, and just look a tiny bit at the green. It is very, very calming and very pleasing. All right, so other than the pool, what do we have here to, to explore? Bedroom? Yeah, well, let's go. Let's go? Yeah, sure. Come. This one is the smallest one. I don't know if we'll be able to see the second biggest room because your man's in there and he's working. Mm -hmm. He likes to work. This one was my room. Quite lush, quite small, quite dainty. I love it so much. The beds are amazing. Mm -hmm. Super, super comfy. It seems pretty comfy super here. Nice. Oh, God, yeah. This is my favorite pillow ever. I will have to buy one for myself when I'm good, but comfort. And yeah, I want to show you. So, if you look at this, I want to show you here. This is one of my favorite. Living about living in Bali, all the green everywhere is just so so lush. So, have a little peek outside. As you can see, this villa is literally uh, wholesome. It's like, I think it's a second villa I came to since I arrived in Bali, but this definitely by far is like the best. So you, you have staying here from more than a month right now. How do you think it fit in your routine? How do you here for like a month? And what does the pricing look like? So we came here specifically and we rent out this villa. Mm -hmm. um, we did things a bit differently than most other travelers uh, do when they come to Bali, uh, in that we didn't rent just a few days and then want, you know, somewhere else and rent a few days there and there. We all came kind of with the intention of working while living here. For that purpose, I believe Musa Dua fit really, really well. It gave us some nice areas to explore, but also gave us like, a quiet life to be able to do that, you know, in an area that's beautiful, but not too chaotic. We visited Changu, you know, we visited the wood, I visited the wood, they're very, very beautiful places. But I do find like Changu to be a bit more chaotic, more party, more social life. The difference is that there are some more conveniences living in areas like Changu and Ubud because they are more tailored to you know people like us kind of traveling to Bali, uh, yeah. bringing our tastes and our comforts with us. Nusa Dua is a bit more Indonesian, right? Yeah. You'll find more traditional style of food. Yeah, definitely. I think I, it's the only place uh, so far. I still now exploring. I still have like three more weeks to go. Three more weeks left. <laughs> three more weeks left. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think here is the place that I found more like more locals and been pretty nice so far. If you notice that the beaches are kind of looking at us like we don't belong here. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're like, like, who are these who strangers? Are these people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like they don't see as many white people. Or people of color. Or people of color here. <laughs> I mean, they are people of color, but they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's correct. So I think it's just any other race they don't see really here very often. Yeah. You know, the, the foreigners will kind of hit up Changu, Seminyak, you know, Kuta. And you know, to be fair, in contrast to Kuta, I also much prefer here South Kuta. Um, Kuta has become very touristy to the point where, you know, you can't walk through a street without being harassed by the market stalls, you know, kind of, you know, they very much see you as a tourist and they're like just trying to hard sell you. Mm -hmm. And that gets uncomfortable. You know, here you can walk down the street, kind of, 
you know, peacefully along with the residents and that's super nice as well. Alright, so with all of these things that you just mentioned, for this a bit more than one month, huh? what on average you guys feel comfortable to do so and spend on this amazing deal? So it's not gonna be... Pricing is gonna be a bit confusing, to be fair, mm -hmm. because we got quite a few discounts on this place, luckily. I'd say this villa costs about somewhere about 3k, let's assume it's a bit higher. Um, for the month, probably a bit more. And then we got some discounts to Airbnb, we got some discounts at Two Villas Castle on us as well. The Airbnb was nice enough to give us like a 200 euro voucher. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, we got this price rather discounted. It's a godsend. We get to enjoy it a bit more. <laughs> you always like a good bargain. So yeah, I think we got it for about, let's say we're three people, let's say 760 each. Um, I don't know, a solid discount makes everything sweeter. <laughs> uh, but you know, we have quite a few luxuries here as well. We have a housekeeper that comes daily. The, the driver daily. as well. <laughs> the driver is something else. Oh, driver something else. else. Okay, he's not, not included working. with the villa. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but he's pretty great too. Yeah, no, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah nice. but with the villa, we have like our own housekeeper. He really helps out. I mean, he cleans every day. He's you know handled some maintenance for us. We've had like issues a bit of issues with the seas occasionally. Um, yeah, and like some water leaks, and they're so efficient, so so on it, you know, mm -hmm. they're always um, they're making themselves available to make sure they can look after us uh, any way possible. Um, it's also kind of like a gated community here, which I quite like. There's security at the entrance, you can't get in kind of unless you're staying here, or you know, like they, they let them know what house they're coming for. Uh, it feels so safe to live here as well, which is so refreshing. You know, my dad was super worried about me coming to Bali. Um, and I feel like we found a really, really nice and safe kind of area to stay in. Yeah, uh, it's been really lovely actually staying here. Amazing. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you will. Alright, so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video uh, with our special guest. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is our last day here at the villa. Oh wow. And yeah, it's, it's pretty like, <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't really like farewells, but it's amazing that everyone had this experience. I was pretty lucky to meet her, meet Dave and, and Johan and be able to have the opportunity to come to such an amazing place. So thank you very much for hosting me. You're so welcome. It was really so easy to have you here. Oh, thank you. You've been a great, yeah, you've been a great guest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right then, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, just drop the like, the comments and share with some friends. That would be really appreciated. Thank you very much. Ciao. <laughs>